and March and April, the Russian military has a large-scale build of its forces near the borders of Ukraine, including in Crimea. This included elements of Russian ground forces, Russian airborne forces, Russian Navy, and the Russian Air Force. So the three broad explanations for why Russia might have built up its forces near Ukraine's borders from that time. The first one was that this was, this was part of a training exercise and it wasn't anything abnormal. The second was this was a prelude to a large scale ground invasion beyond the actual line of, the current line of contact. And three, that this is a element of coercion or signaling purposes, which is what I argue in my paper. I, I didn't think it was number one because the buildup was unique in nature. It was much larger than something we normally see aside from the annual command staff exercise that Russia does, which did, was not occurring in the Southern North this, this year. Number two, I, I didn't think it was a prelude to war because it was done very publicly. Russia could have hid their intentions better if they wanted to. A lot of this equipment was moved on train without tarps on them. People could see it. They put it up on TikTok, Telegram. It was pretty well known what was going on. The build was actually pretty slowly done too. It was about it was over March and April. It was over a month in period where we could see what was going on the entire time. And it's not how the Russian military operates when they actually want to kind of conduct the operation and achieve uh, surprise. So I thought it was the number third. That it was, it was about coercion and it was about signaling as opposed to the other two. So in the article, I argue that Russia's buildup near Ukraine's borders in the spring was mostly about the for deterrence purposes, and it was mostly directed at the U.S. and not Ukraine. In the case of Ukraine, Russia already had sufficient combat power permanently based in Crimea and near Donbas to prevent, crime, to prevent Ukraine from retaking those areas, and the buildup was so large and so public, it was clear there was another purpose behind it. I think it was a demonstration to the Biden administration who had just come into office and that they adopted anti-Russian policies as perceived by Russia, such as new sanctions, um, trying to admit Ukraine into NATO, or any kind of new harsh anti-Russian rhetoric, such as threatening to make Russia pay a price, calling Putin a killer, and things of that nature. The Russia could respond asymmetrically by using military force in Ukraine, which is an area where they had an advantage, and it was a bit of a disadvantage for the US and EU.